So it is February 9th, and this is all the food I have left. Um, well, I have some rice that I have made up, but the rest of it, this is it. <laughs> so I need to go to the grocery store. I am going to the grocery store with a $60 budget. Let's see how it goes. All right. This is my haul. Got some pepperoncinis, a bunch of bananas, tomatoes, mangoes, onion, apples, red bell peppers, mushrooms, a couple things of tofu. We're having a barbecue tomorrow, so I needed something to barbecue. A couple of snacks, some kale, uh, some different kind of beans. I still have black beans, but I got some pinto beans in these. Vegetable refried beans are actually pretty good. Um, so I kind of splurged on that a little bit. And with all that, my total was 61.52. So I went a little over, but honestly, that's not even true because now after admiring my receipt, I realized that the person at the register didn't do the tear weight on any of my bags. So I paid for whatever was in a bag that was by weight, which includes apples and mushrooms um, and the tomatoes. The, the tear weight wasn't added, so I paid extra for whatever my bag weighed, which is a little lame. Um, I feel like, especially in California, where they're all, like, gung-ho on this no-bag situation, they should know what to do when you have bags uh, like this. But, alas, such is life. And uh, even with that little hiccup, I only went $1.52 over my $60 budget. So that's exciting. This will feed me for a while. Oh, um... I also have tortillas that I don't have pictured here because they're in my fridge and I forgot to do it. But that's where a lot of this is going to go into tortillas. Tortillas! Tortillas! Also, so I'm thinking this might be at a couple locations of the grocery outlets. Uh, my friends up in Oregon said they found theirs for two fifty or something like that. In their grocery outlet and they are also in San Diego grocery outlets for about the same price so delicious it is so delicious um definitely recommend this flavor so if you're anywhere near a grocery outlet check it out for real all right I'm terrible at this this was hiding behind my tofu but this is organic cashew gert you can read but it's vegan yogurt I haven't tried this kind before. I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'm hoping because of the size of it <laughs> that I will like it. Um, I use it not only, I mix it with my uh, my oatmeal and it gives it a funky little uh, spin to the flavor. And I also use it on burritos and tacos and things like that, kind of as a sour cream substitute. Um, I like the kite version of this stuff um k-i-t-e but i do not know if i like this yet so that is still up for learning i will let you know if i love it or hate it holy cashews <laughs> they're so nerdy uh, in case you're curious This morning we had a doggy photo shoot. Uh, Lionel's Legacy Senior Dog Rescue had is being given money by 
what was it, Dexter's Deli. I, I guess there's three locations of Dexter's Delis. They're dog food places in uh, San Diego, and they're doing fo doggy photo shoots. And for $40, I could get all three dogs in the photo. Um, and they had a cute little heart background or whatever. And it was a mess. So when I was signing up for it, I put in the notes that Hunter's 19 and that he uh, probably wouldn't sit and stay because he just doesn't know what the heck he's doing. Um, especially if I'm not there with him. He'll, he'll sit there and stay if I'm sitting and staying with him, but he's not about that uh, sit-stay life. Um, and Pip and Chloe are usually pretty good about it with an offer of a treat. Um, but, so we walked in. The photos were being taken in the storage area of the store, um, which understandable, you can't just have it in the middle of the store. However, you've got these two super bright, super hot lot lights um, for the photos, and it's hot back there. There's no fan running. So as soon as we walk back there, we've got our layers on because it's cool out today. And the second we get back there, I'm like, I'm ready to take my layers off. These poor dogs can't take their layers off. So it's already hot. Within minutes of starting the shoot and the dog's not sitting still, the photographer is already super frustrated. And I'm like, okay, I understand. You have a line of people who want to get pictures taken, but your frustration is being felt by me and my dogs, and it's definitely not helping make things go smoother by any means. Um, the photographer had an assistant who I don't know if they worked for the store and were just trying to be helpful or whatever, but I would get the dogs to sit and then I'd get away and then they'd try to be like, here, here, here with toys or treats or whatever. Well, when you tell my dogs here, they come here. So they, Pip and Chloe would jump down and run to that person and be like, what are you gonna give me? What are you gonna give me? And it was just a hot mess. I'm pretty sure we were back there for at least 30 minutes, which I'm sure added to the frustration of the photographer's day. Um, I just don't really feel like they were prepared for anything other than the perfect dog posing for a photo. Um, and I don't know. I get it. I get that it's not ideal to have a bunch of crazy old dogs not listening. But I also think it's funny that if you're going to be doing this for a senior dog rescue you kind of have to be prepared for something like that. Um, and it's not like I didn't warn them that it was going to be a little bit more complicated, but I don't think they even paid attention to the note, which isn't my fault. Um, but I'm really hoping, <laughs> I'm really hoping that the pictures turned out good. And I know it's only going to be one. We don't, we only get one picture, although several were taken. Um, in which not all three dogs were looking in the same direction. That was another thing that irked me. If the photographer wasn't so irritated, um, there were several times where all three dogs were looking right at her and she wasn't looking at them at all because she was throwing a little minor fit about how frustrating these dogs were being. And in reality, it could have been way worse. Way worse. But my dogs made it last longer and her attitude made it last longer. So I don't know. <laughs> I hope the picture's super cute because the anxiety that it caused. Um, I think I should probably cover my rice and done with that portion of the video. No, not for you. You have your own dinner. Your food costs more than my food does. <laughs> um, it was just a very kind of stressful situation. So I've been going through some very 
agitating things at work and realistically I know that I'm probably not as even keeled as I should be due to my lack of meditating and self-care and such this month um, so part of me feels like I need to chill out and at least try to start focusing on a more positive mindset before making any decisions but <clears throat> just earlier this week I was just like I put it in my two weeks <sighs> but I shouldn't do that yet I should at least stay for another month if not the two more months that I was planning on being here um Mm. But I'm feeling, I've been feeling more positive the last couple of days. And I'm going to try and focus on that and be better. We have 15 dogs coming in. Oh my gosh. Our staffing situation is still a problem. And yet we have 15 more dogs coming in and potentially 10 more dogs right after that. We're at. 28 dogs right now and it's doable right now I can do that stuff by myself doesn't matter if I have anyone helpful uh, there or not because I'm capable of managing that many during the time allotted by myself plus 15 plus 10 that's that's about how many there were when I started. And I was not lead at that point. And several dogs went home very soon after that point. So we'll see. I know I can do it. I just don't want to. <laughs> but I'm excited to meet the new dogs. And I'm not ready to say goodbye to any of the older dogs. So I'm going to stick to it. My dad took me uh, shopping for my birthday at, at Salvation Army's. I got this kid's little boy's sweatshirt. I like it! And I got a bunch of other stuff that makes me look like a mom. Or at least older. <laughs> or maybe my age? I don't know. I'm used to looking... I don't know what I'm talking about. But I got some more clothes, which really I probably didn't need. Except now maybe I'll have clothes that I like more so I can get rid of the stuff that I'm not that into. I usually wear the same two things over and over and over again because nothing else in my closet really makes me feel... <sighs> Unless I'm just being lazy around the house and who cares what I'm wearing, right? But I've been... I have some dresses, but I never do anything where it makes any sense for me to wear a dress. Um, and I have some nice tops, but they're tops that, like, you have to wear a bra, and it's just <clears throat> gross. So I got some tops where I don't, so that's awesome. Uh, within the same color scheme, so just toss out the ones where I gotta, like, torture myself to keep it on and stay appropriate in public and go from there um spent some time the last two weekends with my mom uh her birthday is two days before mine I, you can't take me anywhere i'm sitting here like trying to get clean out eye boogers from hunter's face while i'm talking to you it's like what the hell I can't, I can't help it. I'm a massive picker. I pick things so much. And uh, when I see it, I just, I can't hold it. It's like, okay, wait a minute. You don't have to do it right away. Yes, I do. I do, I have a problem. I, I love, I love old people. I think they're amazing and I would love to spend time with them, but I really, and I do spend time with them, but I have to do it at a specific distance because the giant pores full of stuff just makes me want to help them get rid of it, even though they probably don't want that help. 
Uh, but I get, I get anxious. I get all like, oh, oh, I gotta pick it. <laughs> it's bad. It's not. It's not good. Um, but uh. <clears throat> What else? My budget? I am $20 under budget this month, which is, what is the 27th? So I still have another day, but I really don't need anything, I don't think, between now and the 1st. So I'll probably still be under. But to be fair, I did not eat very much this month. I have been in such a crap mood and just had such a terrible appetite that I probably, if I was eating better, well, I ate well, I just didn't eat enough. If I was eating more, I would have spent more. So there was that benefit of benefit. It's not good. You should eat all the time. Eating is good for you. And I wasn't doing it much this month. Um, but it wasn't so bad that I lost a bunch of weight or anything. I weighed myself this morning. I was like, oh no. Because I, I sent a picture of my, my new haircut to one of my friends and my collarbone was kind of sticking out. I was like, oh God, did I lose too much weight from not eating? And I didn't. I'm okay. I'm just bony, I guess. Now I'm all itchy all of a sudden. Um, I got work in an hour, maybe less. I don't know what time it is. So maybe... I can get this thrown together real quick and have it loaded or have it start loading while I'm at work or maybe I'll have to just do it tonight or tomorrow. Uh, if I'm going to do a layout of my budget this month, uh, I should probably just do it tonight or tomorrow. I should probably do it tomorrow because the last couple days I've been actually going to bed before 3 a.m. Uh, the anxiety from work has been keeping me up it's not like anything that's that bad really um I just haven't been in a very good mindset so the things even the small things are just irking me so badly and uh, I gotta fix that shit um But I feel better the last couple days. I ate well on my birthday. I ate more on my birthday than I think I did the rest of the week. And uh, <clears throat> what else? And I've been trying to keep that up, keep eating. I'm not gonna lie, I ate way too much cake. My mom made me a vegan cake and I ate way too much of it yesterday. Okay, so I am in the dark editing this video and I realize that I do not have my budget thing that I did last month. So I'm going to do it this way with just a picture of my budget snap shot, whatever. Um, I went to brunch with a friend first thing and gas. Obviously my registration for the van was due, so that just bit off the rest of my budget after the first week <laughs> um I was pretty frugal on food like I was talking about before did not um eat too much really um propane usual gas in the truck for work uh I did go to Salvation Army and I did buy some yarn that was very pretty and I haven't done anything with it yet because I was in the middle of a project with some crappy yarn, but that's done. So I'm going to start using the other yarn. Uh, and then uh, another friend asked me to go out and so I tried to, I got the cheapest thing on the menu. Um, so yeah, that totaled out to be... 480.10, I believe. Um, I'm not that energetic to look it up, but I stayed under my budget, um, which, there you go. Okay, I'm going to 
finish this up so I can post it and go to bed. Okay, bye.